Hello there, how are you doing? Welcome back to Slam Motion. So guys, in today's video, we are going to discuss what happened to Kristen Crook after Smallville. Are you guys excited? So let's get started. So keep up with me till the end, comment right below this video, subscribe if you still haven't, and turn on the post notification for more videos. The final episode of Smallville aired on The CW in May 2011, after nearly one decade of the show on air. Smallville was a massive success, with a devoted fanbase and high ratings throughout its 10-season run. It was also lauded for its clever use of the Superman mythos, and its ability to appeal to both hardcore fans of the DC comics, as well as casual viewers. Smallville followed the story of a young Clark Kent, played by Tom Welling, as he navigates life in the fictional town of Smallville, Kansas, and grapples with his emerging superpowers. Along the way, Clark encounters a cast of memorable characters, including his various love interests and his eventual arch-nemesis, Lex Luthor. One of the key factors in Smallville's success was its talented cast. Tom Welling was a convincing and likable Clark Kent, although that role nearly went to Jensen Ackles. The show's ensemble cast also consisted of the likes of Michael Rosenbaum as Lex Luthor and Ed O'Toole as Clark's adoptive mother, Martha Kent, and John Schneider as Clark's adoptive father, Jonathan Kent. Also playing a major role in the early seasons of the series was Canadian actress Kristen Krug. What has she been up to since her final appearance on Smallville? Kristen Krug famously played the role of Lana Lang in Smallville. Kristen Krug portrayed the character Lana Lang in Smallville, a role she played from the pilot episode in 2001 until her final cameo in 2009. Lana was a high school student in the town of Smallville and was one of Clark Kent's closest friends. As the show progressed, Lana and Clark's relationship deepened, and she became an important figure in his life as he struggled with his growing superpowers. Crook portrayed Lena as a smart independent and determined young woman who was not afraid to stand up for herself and those she cared about. The character was also a complex and multifaceted one, and the actress did an excellent job of bringing out the different sides of her personality. Crook was also praised for her on-screen chemistry with co-star Tom Welling although the creators of the show have since admitted that the story of their relationship was a little too drawn out. Still, the dynamic between Lana and Clark was a key part of the show's appeal, and their relationship was a major reason why viewers tuned in week after week. What happened to Kristen Crook after Smallville? In 2010, Crook featured as Terza in the CBC and ABC TV miniseries Ben-Hur, which also starred Joseph Morgan and Emily Van Camp, among others. She also appeared as a character named Hannah in four episodes of Chuck, the NBC action comedy spy drama series by Josh Schwartz and Chris Fedak. Crook's first major television role post Smallville came in 2012, starring as Katherine Chandler in the CW's science fiction police procedural series Beauty and the Beast. The show was a modern retelling of the classic fairy tale, with Crook's character filling the role of Beauty. Crook proved her commitment to her work once again in Beauty and the Beast as she underwent intense physical training to prepare for the action scenes in the show. Kristen Krug also starred in Burden of Truth. The other main role that Kristen Krug has taken on television since she left Smallville is as Joanna Hanley in the legal drama Burden of Truth on CBC. Joanna is depicted in the show as a high-powered corporate lawyer who returns to her hometown of Millwood, Manitoba, to investigate a mysterious illness affecting local high school girls. As was the case with Tom Welling in Smallville, Crook's chemistry, with Burden of Truth co-star Peter Mooney, who plays Joanna's law partner Billy Crawford, helps to make the series' legal cases and character relationships a key part of its appeal. The Vancouver-born star was also an executive producer on the show, which gave her a greater level of creative input and ownership over her character and the storylines she was involved in. Other TV parts that Crook has taken on in the last dozen years or so include in Robot Chicken, Ghost Rider, and Amazon Prime Video's Reacher. In 2011, she played Heather Thompson in the movie Irvine Welsh's Ecstasy. The actress' other big-screen roles have come in films like Space Milkshake and the 2017 short The Emissary. So guys, this was all about today's video. Share as much as you can that really motivates us to create more content for you guys. With this, we end our video. Hope you liked the video.